Some of today's stock sell-off was due to weak economic data out of China. The fear of a slowdown there has money coming here. Despite negative headlines about Chinese investment in the United States revolving around security concerns, investment by Chinese companies in the U.S. is now at a record high and growing. Michelle Caruso Cabrera has the story. Vitamins of every shape, size and solubility. Manufactured at this New Jersey-based company, but owned by Chinese investors. Next time you go to the movies, it may be a theater owned by a huge Chinese entertainment company. Driving over this bridge in New York State, it was rehabbed by a Chinese firm. Chinese companies spent $6 billion buying American last year, a record amount. The biggest investment so far, AMC Theaters. A Beijing firm called Dalian Wanda bought them last year for $2.6 billion. AMC CEO Jerry Lopez has gone from answering to American owners to answering to Chinese owners. He says regardless of nationality, the goals are the same. They have expectations, um, as, as, you would, as you would think, of uh, net profit delivery and returns on investment and attendance growth. Um, but those are not unexpected, nor are they, frankly, different than we would set on ourselves. The chairman of Wanda, Jane Lin Wang, tells me he's just getting started. He plans to spend another $7 billion in the U.S. before the end of the decade. He tells me the U.S. market is his top choice for investing, not only because it's the biggest movie market in the world, but also because the U.S. has the best environment for investors. The legal system here, he says, is more dependable than in many other parts of the world. Echoing that statement, Stephen Dye, CEO of International Vitamin Corporation in New Jersey, a firm he and several other Chinese investors bought in 2010. So many good things. Uh, I encourage people to invest here. They've poured hundreds of millions of dollars into IVC for expanding its IT system, warehouse, and nearly doubling the number of employees, all from the U.S. Dai also likes that corruption is nearly non-existent in the U.S. and that he's never been asked for a bribe. You just focus on what you are doing and uh, your hard work will be rewarded. You don't have to deal with many other things like connections or relationships. This is a uh, it's a purely business relationship. Nearly every Chinese executive told us the same thing. Ning Yuan is the CEO of China Construction America, building roads in New York State and schools in South Carolina. Investment environment is very good here. It's one of the key reasons why Chinese investment in the U.S. is expected to hit another record level this year. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Michelle Caruso Cabrera. And AIG is waiting to hear if it'll be allowed to sell its aircraft leasing business to a group of Chinese investors. If so, it would become the largest Chinese acquisition in the U.S.